So today's exercise is something that we might consider a functional exercise or a functional movement, meaning that it's something you're probably going to use in your everyday life. It's called stand up, sit down. Now we're going to add some parameters around your stand up and sit down so that we're changing it so that it is different than how you would normally get up. Lots of times when we're getting up out of a chair, we're like using our arms to push us up or pull us up out of it. And so in this exercise, we're gonna incorporate some of the movements we've already done in the 30 day challenge to open our shoulders and take the shoulders out of it so it's all legs. Another thing I want you to consider before you start doing the stand up sit down is foot position. Now we talked in the last video about how there's nothing good or bad about turnout. If you're a person who's a little bit duck footed, it's not dangerous, it's not bad, it's not guaranteed to cause you pain. But if when you try and stand up, you have this uncontrollable urge to turn out, that's you going with the path of least resistance. And again, we're just trying to create a little change. We're just trying to introduce, introduce new loads into our muscles. So I want you to focus on keeping your feet parallel. Then you're going to interlace your hands behind your head. And your arms, your forearms, are going to be roughly in line with your ears. And you want to squeeze your shoulder blades together. So try and get your elbows out of your peripheral vision. Now this isn't going to work for every set of shoulders. So if it's painful, just put your arms down. But eventually you might, you know, work towards this. Now all you're doing is standing up and sitting down. Standing up, sitting down. It can be helpful to look up because that's where you're going and that's where we want to kind of keep the upper body. Can you move with control? So no falling, no using momentum, or using as little as possible. You're gonna do 10 of those, and then take a little break. Maybe do 10 again, if you're trying to build a little bit of strength. Or you do one set in the morning, one set in the afternoon, one set in the evening, just to break up your movement throughout the day. Give it a try, see if you like it. If you find it helpful, press like and share and make sure you subscribe. Thanks again for joining. See you tomorrow.